Welcome everyone, welcome back to another video. This one's going to be a project life as you can see from the page protector. So I'm just cutting out my photos. I edit mine in PicMonkey and that's how I, they're on like a 4x6 with numerous photos. So I'm just going to use my stash to make this project life video and flicking through my cards trying to work out which colour scheme. It's usually what I go with the colour scheme when I'm doing cards like this. Um, there's no real theme to the day, it's kind of, well, not to the day, but to the photos, so scrapbook monthly, and this is a continuation of the birthday of the boys, their birthdays are pretty close, so, and there's often things that happen together and, and separate at the same time, so, some to everyday photos and some birthday related photos, so I'm going here with some softer but nice bright colours, some red, blue, green, yellow, but, I guess it's a little bit softer than the normal bright in your face kind of photos. So, sorry, I'm just trying to adjust the camera so you can see appropriately and doesn't look like you're looking from the other side of the world onto my scrapbook desk, but actually can see the view. So these two photos here on this first card are of my children sitting on the bus. I catch the bus to school in the morning and they don't always sit very gentleman-like, but they... <laughs> They respect the rules and, you know, help everyone out if they need to as well. But I thought I'd capture an everyday shot because it'd be cool to look back on and, and think, oh, look at how little they were when they were on the bus and how different they were in personalities, as you can see. My youngest is sitting there with his legs open and he's not, he didn't want a photo, obviously, why his head's over, hands over his head. But then my eldest is sitting up the front, pretty straight lace sitting, really. <laughs> Um, so I've just written on a tag here with my gold uniball pen and a camera sticker from the Mambi stickers and doodled around the edge of the card. And I don't do that to any of the other cards on this page, so. But then it all goes together, so it's no big deal. I don't have to do the same thing on every card. So this card here, I thought it'd be cool to cut this banner half out. I haven't c completely cut it, but just enough so it can slide. On just like that so it looks like it has some dimension and it's part of the card like it was just made to be on goes a wood veneer not thinking about it too much just plonking it on using my stash and a tick because we played on he was at the shop playing Pokemon cards and here's the shop front the picture of the shop front look how tiny it is I don't know why when I was editing I made it really tiny and but I made it work it like then it wasn't, it was something of interest rather than a whole big photo of something that's not entirely relevant to see in big form. So put on this half a frame that's from Maggie Holmes Gather Paper and it's lovely. All those frames were just good layering pieces and good embellishment pieces and just really fun and lovely colours. So now these alphas are from Spotlight. They look like Tim Holtz letters, especially these ones. But really, they're just the same. And they do the job. So I challenged myself and I put it vertically because I like to read left to right. I don't necessarily like words that are that way. But to make it fit and for design, it looks better that way. So I did it. I held my tongue. <laughs> and I think it turned out pretty good. So tiny word stickers at the top and some enamel dots because what would a page be without those two things? So here's some memes and I was deciding which one I wanted and obviously this was the winner winner chicken dinner. So on it goes up the top and you can see all the lovely design of the page. Oh there goes my phone, sorry about that. And using some of these different stickers. So these are like out, cut like the outline, like not square. And because I was mucking around with it, I broke the M. But on it goes, I wind it up as a sticker, I even used my tweezers and put my head in the shot for you lucky people to see my red hair. And I spelled out meme and used a fun, well it's a tiny word sticker that says fun, so same kind of thing, hey. So I put that on there and I was trying to look to find something else that could just make it pop a bit more. And on goes that clear sticker and an enamel dot. Well, enamel dots and tiny word stickers must have been pretty close today because that's mostly what I've used on this page so so I've just wanted to use that project life card there with the love hearts and the camera as a backing layer piece rather than um, 
covering up or not using it at all or finding something different to embellish with I thought it'd be really cool to put them together on top of that blue spotty my gosh my head is in the way a lot today oh and a blank screen oh you guys are getting the full works today oh I was getting my corner rounder because see if you see on the left hand side the project life card is rounded and it looks silly without the photo being rounded on the opposite side so now it looks like one piece on top of that backing spotty blues backing so that love hearts a wood veneer and that's from one of the past hip kit club kits those lovely lovely kits and oh i'm a bit thirsty so my voice is going a bit so another word tiny word sticker and enamel dot i should call this video enamel dots and what tiny word stickers i think so i'm spelling out Yu-Gi-Oh, which is the game the boys were playing at this shop and just to make it stick out the dark blue i've just gone over with my gold uniball pen and that's something I wrote with on one of the, the first cards, so that ties it in pretty well. Another word sticker, and that was a big one, obviously. Follow your dreams, because he was a dream come true to get all these cards for his birthday and then get someone to teach him how to play at this shop. So it's quite an involved game. I haven't learned how to do it yet. I've learned how to play Pokemon, but that Yu-Gi-Oh is quite, quite tricky. So these two photos, and I was just cutting them down a little bit so it didn't take up the whole card. Um, both my boys got an EB voucher from a friend and they've just took a photo of their excitement to show her that they're excited and to keep it and put it in a project life. So you can see there my, pa my son Patrick in the red shirt, his eyes are bulging out of his head. That's how excited he was to get a card. Uh, the son had just woken up so he's a bit like, oh oh yeah right <laughs> so these um this one's echo park but these are 12 by 12 sticker sheets and they've got so three types at the top one two it's about five or six different type of color alphas and different shades and they all fit on this sticker sheet and they all are like a color theme so when i was in brisbane i brought quite a few of them because they're so versatile and so amazingly helpful you can so i've used two different types just saying the title is thank you thanks shell because they certainly were thankful for those cards so you can go and buy some video games which is every boy's dream well some men as well i guess and women and girls so i shouldn't be very gender specific should i so i just thought it needed to tie together and i put that word sticker there to join the doily and the photos together and I found an arrow that went on that card. So this is the last card and I'm putting it, I wasn't sure and I put it all together so I could make a decision on what I was doing on that card. So here's the full layout, sorry about the glare there. I'm trying to decide, I'm going through all my stash on my desk. Well I'm not going through all my stash, I'm just going through what's on my desk and there's some kits that I've put together in one box um, from the hip kits. That are left over and then, so I'm using that to right before putting it away in my stash so I thought I'd put that wood veneer heart either at the top or down the bottom but I don't think I, I definitely don't put it down the bottom because then I'd have to pull the card back out glue it wait for it that's just too much effort at this end when I can see that page is nearly finished so <laughs> so I'm just looking for some things on goes that wood veneer on goes the sticker Oh, here goes, on goes the wood veneer here. Put some Helmer's glue on it. Love heart on the camera because that is a cool, creative thing to do. That's really just copying everyone in the design scrapbooking world, isn't it, at the moment? Certainly wasn't an original thought there. And I put on, there's a little cut out of this heart, and that's from a page, piece of paper, pattern paper. It's tiny word stickers because, remember, the theme of the page was tiny word stickers. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Thank you.